What went into the number change? Uh, just having that single digit. I feel like it's uh, it just feels good, looks good, honestly. I think that zero looks really good, so I like the zero. <laughs> <laughs> What's your relationship with, with Miles been like? I mean, how, how much have you guys kind of helped each other out? Man, I mean, Miles, I mean, I consider one of my, Miles like my best friend. You know what I mean? Just being able to, you know, get to know him more throughout this year. I mean, it's we've grown a very close relationship. I mean, we hang out outside of football a lot. I mean, he's one of my best friends up here. Caleb Heron was talking about all the weight he put on and he was telling us what he needs to yeah. put on weight. What was uh, the key for you to put on your weight? Um, honestly, just going to the Smokies, you know what I mean, and, and getting four meals a day in, instead of three, you know what I mean? Just when I go home, cooking some stuff up, you know, I'm majoring in uh, culinary arts now, so I've been falling in love with cooking and stuff like that, so I just be cooking at home. What's your favorite thing to cook? My favorite thing to cook? <laughs> Um, it's this Cajun chorizo um, sausage with shrimp, rice, with a little topping on top. Did you say you switched your major from something? Well, it's like, it's a minor, oh, so it's like, minor. yeah. What's your major? My major is communication, okay. yeah. Are you cooking for the team? Uh, I don't know if I'm there yet, but <laughs> <laughs> maybe one time. So how do you feel with that weight? Do you feel just as explosive and fast as you are? Yeah, I feel like I haven't really missed a beat, you know, and that's credit to our strength staff. I mean, they've, I put the weight on and they did the rest. They molded me into, you know, okay, this is your body fat now, so we're going to get down to here, and then we're going to get this strong, we're going to get this strong, and they've done a really good job just taking care of me in that field. You talked about feeling fast, as fast as you've always been. What about when you're, when you're blocking? You feel like you're holding up better against some yeah. bigger defenders. Has that maybe been the bigger difference? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, last year, there was times where you know I'd get off a block, miss my hands, mess up my feet, and I'm back in the I'm back in the backfield. You know what I mean? But when you have that extra 15, 20 pounds, I mean that makes a complete difference to where okay, yeah, I miss my hands, but if my feet are good, then I'm still able to, you know, stay in the block and probably reshoot or something like that. Did you feel like you were pretty good just from the technical stuff you talked about, but the weight was maybe what was keeping you from where you wanted to be? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Because I mean, just putting the time with Aves, you know, and. Weeks, who's not here, not here anymore. I mean, I just, I really wanted to focus on the technique while trying to put that weight on. I was, was there some, was, I'm sorry, was part of that pride? I mean, I'm sure always being one of the, the best players on the field and then you've changed positions you've never played mm -hmm. and you're talking about, you know, I'm, I'm taking this strap up in the backfield. Mm -hmm. Was part of, you know, putting on the weight pride, like, I'm, you know, I'm, mm -hmm. that's not going to happen again. I mean, absolutely. I feel like, you know, as a man, like, you don't ever want to, like, get pushed back in the backfield and lose a rep just based off of strength, you know what I mean? So it's kind of, I kind of took it personally as like, okay, like I'm not going to let this happen anymore. It's not a good feeling, but I know on the other side, they're probably feeling good. So that I want that feeling. I want to be the guy on the other side, driving them five, 10 yards off the ball. How has your relationship with football changed over the last two years, missing your senior year? And then last year, you know, only playing in a handful of games. What has that been like for you? I mean, it's been a journey for sure. Just kind of transitioning over, you know, being a basketball player all my life, you know, loving basketball, having to learn that love for football. And I feel like it's come a long way ever since, like, you know, my junior year of high school, just going out, just trying something new, you know what I mean, to now, like, I really love the game of football. This is what I want to do. I love being here. I love playing every single day and giving my all for Tennessee every single day. What was it that made you fall in love with football? Is, it, is there a specific, a specific moment where you felt that love? Honestly, probably, like, my first touchdown that junior I mean, that's, I mean, it's, it's a great feeling, you know. Everybody in the stands cheering for you for what you just did. I mean, it don't get no better than that. You mentioned the weight gain. Um, what else did you do last year, kind of knowing what your role was to get ready for this year? Really just, I mean, in the weight room, honestly, like, just trying to, like, okay, I benched 225 five times this week, so let's go up to 230 this week. Just trying to push myself past my limit and having no self-limitations as to what I feel like I can do and just try to get 1% better every single day, whether that be arms, upper body, legs, lower body. I mean, just trying to always get better every single day. Did it help to you know watch Jacob and McCallum last year to see how they went about their business? Absolutely. I mean, those guys are pros. You know what I mean? They came in the building every single day as pros. The way they worked, the way they handled themselves, the way they carried themselves were like pros. And so just being able to see them and their work ethic every single day, I feel like that kind of boosted my freshman year because I was a young guy, but in a really old room, you know what I mean? I'm watching them and I'm like, okay, this is how you do things in a way where you don't take reps off, you don't do this, you don't do that. And being able to learn behind them was a blessing. How did you learn to find gratification in football as opposed to basketball? There's a lot of instant gratification in basketball. You can get a rebound, an assist, as opposed to finding that in football where a lot of things have to fall into place for you to 
you know, find that gratification? I mean, I feel like in football, there's like opportunities to, to get that gratification in every single play. You know what I mean? Whether that be a good block and the team scores a touchdown. All right, now, like, I just help my team score a touchdown. I get some gratification in that. Or whether that just be, you know, running off the ball and taking the safety's eyes and the score runs a post and he scores a touchdown over top. I mean, that's self gratification. I mean, that's gratification too, you know, just being able to see my teammates win also. You, you said you 15, 20 pounds. Where are you at now? Where, where do you think you played at last season? Um, last season, I was around 235, 230 in between that range. And so now I'm at a pretty consistent 245. What consistent. did you learn most from taking snaps with Warren and Cali last year? Honestly, just watching them and how they strain to the echo of the whistle. I mean, whether that be on a block, whether that be on a run, I mean, they emptied their gas tank every single day and it was on E. And then they went into the training room, got everything back right, and then did the same thing the next day. So being able to see that, okay, now this is what I have to do in order to play that role that they had. How the different is Nico now compared to what, uh, what he was when you guys first came in? Um, as a person, same Nico, mm -hmm. same guy. I mean, he's always been the same Nico, you know what I mean? He's not big time, like he's a guy I can go up to, joke with, laugh with, but he'll also have those serious conversations with me when I need to, talking ball on the field, and then from a playing standpoint, I mean, he's grown his game so, so highly. And I mean, I think he's going to be really special, really special. What was it like for you coming off of a redshirt year and they bring in a couple older transfers? What was that like for you? I'm sure you want to I mean, play more, and, but it seems like you guys have a pretty good camaraderie there. Yeah, it wasn't anything like personal. You know what I mean? Like Abe's had a conversation with me after season. He's like, RE, like, you know, we got three guys leaving. Like, we need to bring in some guys. I wasn't like, like how I look at it is like, okay, like, People are always going to bring somebody in who they feel like can be better than you. And so it's just a personal thing to me. Like, okay, I just have to like keep working hard and keep grinding, but also like bringing those guys along with me because I'm not going to just like shun them out or give them a dirty look just because they transferred in. I mean, those are my guys, you know what I mean? Like they're still my brothers at the end of the day. If they win the job, I mean, then they deserve the job, you know what I mean? Because we all work hard at the same time. And so just having those guys with me now, I mean, it's a blessing at the end of the day because like our camaraderie is so tight. Like we're, like I, I look at it as like a big three, like one big tight end. Like you can't stop anybody, like any of us. Hi, I'll let you guys do what you all want on the ball walk. Any, any chance we see a chef's coat? Chef's coat, <laughs> for sure. I would definitely rock a chef's coat with a hat. Yeah. <laughs> all right, thanks Ethan. Thanks Ethan. Thank thanks Ethan. No problem.